now. Right, Brian, let's go through the you know, video did, you know, handover. So I'm going to be videoing strictly for training association, assessment process. Your voice, face, and will be also captured. Hope this is okay. We can get, hope this event is okay. Video will be used for part of the Foxwood group, and we'll be leaving once my training assessment is complete. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, no problem. All right, first of all, obviously, when we're locking and unlocking the vehicle, yeah. all you have to do is have a vehicle key on you. Yeah. To lock it with a little line on there, yep. push it through. Yep. We've actually got the car, the mirrors fold in. Okay. And again, try and lock it, you just put your hand inside the handle, pull it open. So as long as I've got the long key on you, and again, we're starting it, I'll go through the starting process, we may be set up the key on you. Okay. We're doing it right here, I'm going to go down there, down there. Yep. Your cap, once the car's unlocked, push your cap, yep. and it virtually opens like that, so you just make sure you set up your key on you. Okay. And then once the car's locked, that will be locked, and your scraper is in there as well. Perfect. And also your tire pressure. We can do your tire pressures on the game bars. If you want a conversion to PSI, let us know. I can do that for you as well. Okay. Thank you very much. And we'll see with the vehicle, see when we go around, I'll show you around the boot as well before we get in the car to go over the bits of control. If you tailgate, you yep. can either do it on your key, yep. holding the bottom down, or if you push underneath here, just underneath the O, we'll electronically be open. Perfect. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. You've got the easy release for the rear seats there yeah. and there. Yeah. And underneath the carpet here, usual little touching kit, looking right, okay. And then shut the vehicle down if you want, you push the button there, and yep. it will shut it down. Nice, nice, Reverse camera, I'll tell you, you put your reverses there, but it's just there, so if it doesn't need wipe on it, it does see. Just yep. wipe it out, that's that. Brilliant, okay. Thank you. Yep. Obviously, down to the side of the vehicle, I'll show you under the bonnet and I'll show you the releases first of all. Yeah. We've got the release, yeah. just down here. Perfect. You have to pop you have to have the door open because it won't open if the door's shut. Okay. And try and reach across the other side. Mm -hmm. Underneath the badge on the front, yeah. this is the handle, push that in, lift it up. Bottom stay though, it's just up in there. Yeah. A important thing to look out for under the car is the head tank for the coolant goes out. Yep. So you shouldn't have to do that, just monitor it over the door. Engine oil dipstick is there, yep. engine oil goes in there. Just check it once a month like you would normally on a car. Brake fluid is over the back, yep. and your screen wash is just there. And you've got the foam so you don't spit it. Yeah, I think the most important bit. So it's something like most people do. That's why it's best just to give them a little drop. So look down. Okay, if you want to jump in the car now, we'll go and get you in the car. Vehicle. Yep. See the vehicle's already done. Right, you've obviously got your radio stations all here, DAB, yep. FM and medium wave. Yep. And you just select to change it on there. And obviously you can tune your radio stations in. This one's already been preset for you, okay. the stations you asked for. Yep. But your media, so if you've got your phone connected up or you can listen to music off a USB stick. Yep. And obviously through the wire. And then connect your phone up. Here. Yep. Yep. So, yep. Yep. so what's my phone set up? How how will I which button will I use to just answer it? The answer you can either push it on the screen here, it'll come up on the screen. Yep. With whoever's calling you, you push OK or decline. Yep. And you can also push the button on the screen will oh, and we'll answer it as well. Yeah, so, nice yeah. and easy. That's it. And navigation yep. is all done off your of postcodes. So you just push search, enter in the postcode you want to go to. And then it gives you the option to push the button. It brings up. Is it one of these postcodes that I need to put a space in, or can I just? No, just put it in. It goes through. So there is a space button if you do wish to, but it will pick it up. Once you start putting them in, it gives you the options. Perfect. Uh, just remind me, is it SD card or is it GPS? It's done as a GPS. So you have no SD day. It updates through the system itself. Yeah, as you can next to. And you've got your apps here. So if you've got your phone connected, yep. it will come up, and it also brings up. You've got Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. Yep. It will bring up the options here. So based on mirrors your phone on here. Perfect. So yeah. if you get text yep. messages and so forth, it will come through and you can use the set nav off your phone as well if you wish to. You've got your car settings, so this gives you your average fuel consumption, yep. since you started, long term. Perfect. And also you've got your settings here, so you can go through and activate your electronic stabilization control. You've got tyre pressure, so if you've ever pumped the tyres up, you can oh, reset yeah. it on there. What happens if you click that one? Sorry. Bring that and it gives oh, you, so you can reset yeah, it. Yeah, so easy easy to do. Yeah, just if it comes up saying so you've got low tyre pressure, you pump them up just to reset it afterwards. Perfect. And then you've got your problem pretty, I'll just have to have the ignition on to do that. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you've got your bits here from park and over and you can change some of the settings as well, like the door opening and closing. 
So you can either have it so all your doors are open and you yep. unlock it on the key, or just out of your driver's door, or just what the driver's would you like to Voice control. Voice control works. Perfect. And then you've got your menu yep. as well, also brings up all the bits. So you've got your radio, telephone, navigation, yep. smart link, vehicle, and also you've got a manual on here as well. So if you're out in the car and you've got your handbook to you, you can actually check on there. Perfect. So we've through. set up my we've set up my Skoda Connect already. That's, it, that's just a little, yep, Skoda Connect is where you go to users. Yep. And then you sync it up. Perfect. Again, it's all synced up. As soon as you get in the car, you will know obviously recognise it on the key. And then we connect up the scale to connect. Brilliant. All right. Nice and easy. Yeah. Okay. Obviously, all your heat controls are here. Yep. So you've got your temperature for the passenger side is on this side. Yeah. Driver side is on this one. Yeah. You can sync it by pushing that button so it keeps cold. So then whatever the driver has it, that's it. The passenger will have it. At. Perfect. Yeah. Air conditioning button there and the auto. So if you want to keep the car temperature, so you want to keep it automatic at 17, you want to keep it automatic to get that temperature. Yep. Turn on so it doesn't make too much noise. You've got your heated front seats on this model, so yep. you've got the heated for the driver side and passenger side there, and that's the direction where you want it to. If it's an okay. auto, it will put it towards where it needs to go to. Yeah, that's fine. Um, you can turn your um, stop start off by pushing that button. Yeah. If it's an inconvenience for you, and you can turn your parking sensors off. Okay. Not that anyone ever does. So it has a light that you shouldn't have to use, and then obviously you lock the doors so you're driving through anywhere you shouldn't. It's unsafe reason why you yes. the doors. Yeah. Right. Yeah, no problem. And um, you've got your mode control here, so you can change modes from eco, normal, sport, and individual. Yep. It comes up on the screen here. So then you can set which mode you want to be in, and it also tells you up in the corner which kind of fifth screen. Okay, but nine times out of ten, probably just yeah, normal, normal, normal week, yeah, that's, yeah. It. that's fine. And um, you've got your auto hold, yeah. So when you're sitting for stationary, you can actually put your take your foot off the brake when the hold okay. kicks in, so you just put your foot back in the center right to pull away, Brilliant. and then your electric hand brake is there, perfect. And you can turn your stabilizing control off there, yeah. I can't see myself doing that. Does it. Um, okay, you've got your SOS button, so if you've ever break down an accident, you push that button, it comes straight through to Skoda, yeah, for the assistance. And um, that's a emergency the lot warning lot comes on as well and for information is up there as well. Perfect. Okay, and then obviously you've got your summary controls here. Yeah. Really just the summary. So I can just I can just have my roof open and then just have the blind closed if I wanted to. Yeah, the blind if the summary's at a tilt, the blind will come halfway across. Yeah. If the summary is fully back, you can still have the blind halfway across as well. Okay. But you can have the blind fully across if the summary is open. That's absolutely fine. Yeah, Not a problem. Okay. And also on the steering wheel, so you've got your control, so you've got your heat steering wheel. Brilliant, not that brilliant, brilliant feature, especially yeah. on the Yeah, see the minutes of what I've just, that I've just come out of, so yeah. that's quite nice. Last steering wheel just the same kind of controls. Obviously you've got virtual cockpit on this vehicle, which is a great benefit, yeah. so you can actually change the screen by pushing the two arrows here. Okay. So we go through. It might be because I've got the door. Yeah, it's because the door's open. open, yeah, but it's like you can go through such a different screens you want to have. So yeah, you can have so it you know, have sat-nav or my phone and music. And yeah, so, yeah, so sat-nav will come up in the middle on this screen, yeah. and you can have it so it's a full sat-nav screen, so nice. it mirrors what it's offered there on here, yeah. so it gives you a look at the visibility. Uh, you've got your cruise control and indicator stall here, yeah. so you just flick it to on, yeah. now puts it in standby, and you just push the bottom button to set it, yeah. and the top one in resumes it once you touch the brake pedal. Okay. And you can Perfect. increase it and decrease it off of there. Brilliant. And this one's got auto wipers, so you just have to tap it once, and that will put them out, just them automatically. Okay. And Brilliant. just squirt the washers and pull it back. Yeah. Okay. And you've also got the auto lights over here. Perfect. Okay. And, and then, then just one room fog lights. Fog lights are if you pull the switch out one, that's your front fog light. Yeah. And two is your rear fog light. Oh perfect. But if it is a bit if it is foggy, you will have to turn the lights on manually. The yeah. auto lights they don't come on when they're when it's cold when it's because it's not dark enough for them. Oh, okay. And then you've got your boot release over there. So you can oh, change okay, so the three options in total. Yeah, so that's yeah. it. Yeah. Perfect. Have you got any further questions? To be honest, from what I've come out of, it's like the same groups, it does look very familiar. What's what's that? That is for your car park ticket. Oh, nice. So if you, when you're going to paint the paint display, instead of losing it off the winter yeah, room, yeah, yeah. you just stick it in there and it holds it in place. Oh, no, perfect. And that's your cubby hole for now, which cubby hole for this. You've got your armrest, which is quite adjustable as well. Perfect. And you've got your cup holders down there. Yeah, no, that's brilliant. Yeah, no, that's it. Very, it's pretty similar to what I've been used to, but obviously just higher up. Yeah. So, yeah, no, really happy with that. Okay. Yeah, brilliant. Thank you. Nice. Thank you.